What up guys, it's Kuda from Team Makes Eggs and One Stop Shop for Everything Co-op and today I'm playing Cthulhu Saves the World! I've never played this game before, ever. It's an RPG I bought off of Steam. It was like a dollar for this game and another game made by the same creators that you might eventually see in my series. I have not really done a hardcore RPG yet and I'm ready to just, you know, to try one out, alright? Mainly the reason I haven't done them is because I try to keep my videos somewhat, uh shorts because I don't it just takes forever to upload anything over like 20 minutes and so I don't have a lot of time to get into RPGs I have tons of them I'd like to show them to you this game really caught my eye there's lots of really cool things little jokes that it prods at you like you can check out this little achievement guide and it's like master of not beating the game vanquisher of nothing just like basically telling you're garbage and I was looking at the options and I was going through controls and this is something really cool because I like to play with the controller so I played the controller then I saw this Mind Orb 5XD2. I was like, what? It's like, I've never heard of that controller. I clicked on it, and it's like, think your desired thought settings into your Mind Orb. I thought it was fucking hilarious. That's just a little thing that I just, I, I had to, I had to point that out. But we're going to go ahead and start the commentary. Uh, we'll play with commentary off the first time. Alright, so for count countless ages, an unthinkable being known as Cthulhu is laying dormant in his underwater city of Rahlach. I'm not even going to bother saying those words. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence until tonight. There's Cthulhu. He's basically this giant demon with an octopus head, bat wings. Awaken, great Cthulhu! As he emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared high atop yonder cliff. I love that word, yonder. Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. Oh no! Oh, Cthulhu's looking kind of like a squid washed ashore. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on a neighboring shore, defeated and dejected. After watching all this time, I'm not going to use that voice the whole time. After watching all this time, <laughs> victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mystery man is highly frustrating. Must get my powers back, but how? Like a relief for the world, Cthulhu doesn't know that one only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. By becoming a true hero, would his powers return to him? <laughs> Foolish narrator. <laughs> I love it when they break the freaking the. I think it's like the third or the fourth wall. Well, it's one of those theater terms, whatever. While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping now to, <laughs> I too know the way to regain my power. And the narrator's like, whoops! I Cthulhu do hereby vow to devote my life to become a true hero by only I can regain my power, summon, rouse its service, and destroy the world, of course. Oh, great! So he's trying to become a true hero, save the world, and then end the world. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and then the <laughs> most unlikely hero is born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. Before we begin, allow me to give you a few pointers. Thank you! The great Cthulhu needs no assistance, whoever the benefit of the lowly player edition troll me. Thanks. Push B while moving to run really fast. Waha! Foolish game developer by giving me this ability to run. I finished this silly game in half the time. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Press the Y button to bring up your menu. You can chat with members of your party. Okay, good. Basic menu stuff. You can save any time once it's first person shooter. <laughs> These abilities like insanity slash and combat to make your enemies insane. Insane enemies will take more damage from attacks, but watch out if the enemies become more dangerous and insane. No watching, uh, I will bestow the gift of insanity upon all. Build up your combo count with hits, and then unleash a powerful combo finisher ability like Death Blow for massive damage. Uh, I'd like to actually play this game. Yes, good luck. Cosmic monstrosities don't need luck. <laughs> Forge your own destiny no matter what the cost of enemy. Nice. Alright, well, this is the beginning to uh, Cthulhu Save the World. Three one ups. You can use one ups to reset a failed battle. Awesome. Alright, we're going to save real quick. Yes. Thank you. Alright, loving this high quality HD graphics. Ah, helpless made him beset by vicious monsters. I shall rescue her, thus becoming a true hero. I would work for a normal person, but you have a lot of evil to atone for. You will take many more deeds for you. What we close to true hero. What the hell is that? Fatwak! I don't know. You know I'll kill the monsters anyway, just for the sake of violence. Nice, I like that. A goose approaches. Another goose approaches. Round one. Monsters aren't normal strength. Alright, this is interesting. Potion, magic, spells none, insanity blow, death blow. Uh, I guess we'll do insanity blow. Let's see, that's power 30 times 1, it's a combo finisher. It's 10 MP. Uh, it takes 3 MP, we're just gonna attack. Sweet! Love that old school RPG action. Oh god, they actually hit me. Monsters are at. Oh, they get stronger? What the hell? 
we're gonna try. Actually, I'm just gonna kill this one then. Yes! Okay, good. Kill him. And I will. Do a death blow, I guess. Woo! Awesome! He's defeated. All enemies have been defeated. Victory! Oh, cool. You gain full MP and HP. Or full HP, not MP. Cthulhu is now level 4. Okay, that's weird. I started off at like level 3, I guess. <laughs> or maybe 1, but you gained so many levels. Oh, choose your level up bonus. Alright. I love it when there's, like, you know, branching paths. Cool. So, passive ability each insane enemy gives 10 strength, 10% magic. We're gonna go strength. Die, foul slime monsters! Defeated the final slime monster. He's turned his gaze to the maiden he'd rescued. Gorgeous! Uh, I guess she's in love with What? When Umi gazed upon the mighty Cthulhu, she did not see a crazed octopus dragon man. Instead, <laughs> she saw this. Warning, image display might not reflect reality. <laughs> My hero! Hero indeed, you hear that? Do I count as your hero? No. <laughs> this man shall never become a true hero. I love the when he says that. Oh, brave warrior, save me from a gooey death. Let me join your noble quest. Uh, okay, we're gonna go through this a little quicker. Cool, try to stab things, promising horror, devotion, great green tongue of passiveness. Yes, my first groupie! <laughs> we're strictly rockstar and groupie relationship. Oh god, that's too funny. Second party member, you can use the chat command, you can also use multi character unite taking this battle, get more abilities to unlock more unite. Random encounters will not activate in this dungeon. After fighting 25 battles in this area, random encounters will turn off. If you'd like to fight beyond that, push the Y button to bring up the main menu and select the fight option. Well, that's kind of cool. It makes it so you can't, like, over level unless you, like, absolutely want to. Is that a live starfish in here? Yes, his name is Pinta. Jeez. Live starfish in here that people think I'm disgusting. <laughs> Over there. The town of Miss Catonia is past this series of caves. I'm sure there's some produce if you dare. To Miss Catonia, whatever the fuck the name of the place is, this guy. MP restored. Save your game. Warning do not remove the hard drive or memory unit while saving, loading, or viewing save files. <laughs> oh, that's great, because I was thinking about removing my hard drive right before uh, you know doing this whole thing over here. No random encounters yet, but this is very reminiscent of like the older Final Fantasies, uh, Breath of Fires. Ah, uh, there we go. A seahorse approaches, and Uzumaki approaches. Uzumaki, that's like uh, Naruto's last name. Round one begins, ready, fight! So. Ta likes teddy bears and jelly beans, tastes good with salt. Nice. We're trying to take out the seahorses. See, taking the sirens call. Adds insanity, stun 100%, success rate once per battle. Cool, cool. Magic, heal, and flood. It's a healing spell, hits all enemies. That's cool. Ignite techniques, none. Dodge, defense up temporarily, hides from enemies. Cool. Wait, does he have something else? Protect. Taunt enemies. Cool, cool, cool. This is a very, uh, deep. RPG as of yet. <laughs> oh god, hit flood. Alright, next 21 damage. Awesome! God, I haven't played a classic RPG like this in so long. We're just gonna double attack these guys. God, the dude is getting hurt. Holy shit. 20% strength. Alright, we're gonna do insanity strike. I hope he doesn't die already. If I already made that mistake, we're good. Oh, good, it's a quick heal. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do Insanity Strike, and we're gonna do Siren's Call. Sane and Stun. Whoa, we got real insane! Alright, now we get to do Death Blue! And we'll just do regular thing. <laughs> okay, I didn't get to do Death Blue. <laughs> Alright. Umi, he's now level 5. Choose your level bonus. Pass ability less likely to be attacked by enemies or insane agility. Each insane enemy gives. Alright, we're gonna do that one. Because Cthulhu does not hide from any mortal or some shit like that. Something you'd say that, right? 
hate when there's branching paths like that. Good, I picked the wrong way. Because I got a police tunic. Um, let's get a tunic. Police tunic, much better. Nice. Let's see if she's wearing, she's wearing a dress. Trident. Cthulhu has just a regular old sword. All right, cool. Cthulhu is now more tanky. Hmm. Damn these branching paths. Whoa, with a lot of enemies. All right. Monsters are at normal strength. Call Kraken? What? Oh, my God. Yeah, we're going to call Kraken. That sounds cool. Oh, God. They're just murdering me. Summon a giant Kraken. What the hell did it do? Oh, it attacks your enemies. Awesome. I didn't do nearly as much as I wanted it to, but... Oh, okay, I almost killed all these enemies now. So we'll just finish these guys off. Yeah, hit Cthulhu. He likes taking damage. Whoa, the Kraken still attacks. That's fucking cool. All right, well, that's, that's like a little summon that just keeps going. Well, that's kind of OP if I can just constantly keep doing it. Hopefully this is also the wrong... Oh, God, it's just a dead end? Really? Well, that pisses me off. Bum, 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 bum. A snaily approaches. Round one begins. I love when this game's like round one. Or Loves rouge lipstick. That is just special. So it just always, I can always do it. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, this one just—it's a thing. Oh, it takes a shit ton of MP, and I don't regenerate my MP that quickly. Got it. So I'm gonna just, just gonna, yeah, just gonna take out these, these bitches. I'll use Flood. Holy shit, just nuked the whole field. Alright, well, I'm good with that. <laughs> I wonder how long this game actually is. Because some RPGs back in the day were just ridiculously long. They take fucking forever. Ever. Bum, 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 bum. Goal and a crab. Alright. Scavenger of food and you immune to massive damage from weak points. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bam. Gonna flood him again. Bam! Then I can one hit kill him after that. Oh. Boom! 33 damage. Ball status! Level up. Let's see. 30 strength, 30 vitality. Max MP and magic. And strength and vitality. That's a shit ton of fucking strength and vitality. I must constantly remember to save, because who knows when I might just run into something that might be. What the hell it is? As we near completion of the game, we made a discovery layout to some of our dungeons were too complicated players were getting lost, including some sort of sophisticated mapping system would have taken a lot of time even. Lanterns and some of the dungeons to help guide the player to the next area. Oh, okay, that's cool. Very nice to know. Thank you, game developers. Yeah, some of these like old school dungeons were very complex, and there was no map system, so you kind of had to uh, you know, wing it. You had to memorize it or make your own maps. And oh, making my own map that was such a pain in the ass. Gotta get that treasure chest. I'm gonna go back. Snailies. All right. Hero fodder and it knows it. That's hilarious. So attack that. Flood, that's like a boss status skill. I gain more MP than it uses now, so just might as well just keep flooding the hell out of everything. Ah, you want to pick the wrong way, or the right way, because I want to go the wrong way first. Make sure I pick up everything. Five potions! Alright! That was awesome. the goal after a flood. Damn. Alright, I believe I can kill this with one good attack. We'll go ahead and use Siren's Call. Yes. Use its 
Sandy Strike. Boom! Love driving these monsters insane. It's so awesome. All right, I'm going to try to at least make it to the first town. I really would... Just, oh, God. I hate doing a short video for RPGs. And like I said, I've been holding off doing them for a long time. Because I have tons of RPGs. It's probably a good, like, 30 or 40% of my collection. And it's just hard to play them because I, can't, I don't feel like I can do justice to the games in a short video. And so... It's just, it's, yeah, I don't know how many I'm actually going to play. I want to play a lot of the Final Fantasies. I just have not played yet. Because I have pretty much all of them. I'm missing, like, maybe a couple of the series. But uh, it's just, I don't want to be doing these little itty bitty videos. Targets one enemy. Adds blind. Targets one group. Damn, that's going to be tough. That's tough to decide. Lines a whole group. Lines one enemy. Plus 52 damage and one hits. Blind. 52 damage is uh, tempting, but yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna dwell on it too much. But it is cool though if you get to decide your abilities like that. It will just it allows a lot of whoa whoa. I was going to say a lot of customization in your players, whatever. What is that on the horizon? I am Elonia. On behalf of Earth, we will right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you, Switchblade. Name of your steal from the wicked and give to the just. I'm Dash the Dirty. My courage is only reveled by my good looks. Rivaled by my good looks. <laughs> We're the three heroes of goodly justice. Dark Fiend Cthulhu, we defeat you and restore light to the world. <laughs> You're a Dark Fiend? Should have told me. That's so sick. Use your vile magic to ensnare the beautiful maiden. Release her. Please! If I was using my magic to ensnare someone, I would have picked someone much hotter. Hey! Yo, narrator, did I get hero points for defeating annoying heroes? No, well, I'm gonna beat them up anyway. Virtue always trying so we will here to win! Your friend over there doesn't look too vicious. But Virtue is hiding behind the cloak and all, I have a skin condition. Leave me alone. Oh, poor skin condition. Mwahaha! <laughs> Puny humans! Even with my power locked away, I have more enough power to deal with you! Prepare to be defeated! Awesome. Alright. Round one begins. So let's fucking. All right, we're gonna call the Kraken. Oh god, doing a lot of damage. Go Kraken, go! All right, let's see what they have. Very susceptible to peer pressure. I have trouble adjusting to 16-bit. <laughs> Keeps his daggers in his boots. Cool. Okay, I wanted to read all the color commentary. All right, we're gonna drive one of them insane. Let me take out the clerk. So she heals. I'm very pissed. And no, no, I'm gonna use a potion. No, no we're gonna use protect. And she's gonna use blind. Oh my God, it's oh, that's that's lame. Never mind. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm gonna use the sanity strike. And she's gonna heal. So. Alright, cool. I should have taken that fucking other one. Oh well. Kraken attacks, awesome. Let's see, tool use. Is it potion. No. There's no reason to use potion. <laughs> uh, take out him. Go ahead and heal Tulu. Holy shit, a backstab. Fire! Holy shit. I don't know how I like the enemies getting stronger. After every little thing that happens, it's getting kind of annoying. Nice. Like Insane and stunned! Whoa, he gets all freaky dicky! He stunned and 132 damage. That was that was pretty epic battle. <laughs> Alright, level up! Do I want a fireball? Targets one enemy. Or do I want a flame strike? Yeah, that flame strike sounds way better. One more MP for that. I guess it won't be any good against uh, enemies with magic resist. All right, lame hero zero. Awesome. I hope they're okay. They're adventurers. Don't worry about it. They probably already spawned in the nearest church. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, I'm gonna play for just a little while longer. 
would like to get to that first town, but I've got to climb over this fucking mountain, into the mountain, through the mountain. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Alright, so we're just going to keep running. Just keep running, not sure where to go. Giant red seahorse and crab. Uh, makes a great pet. Alright, I don't think he makes that great of a pet, but <laughs> just saying. Right, we're gonna murder. Uh, we'll do the giant rats. She can do. Science call the crab. Woo! 108 damage, holy shit. Right, so he can do. It's a regular tank. Double tech him. There we go. Alright, let's double tech that one. Let's fucking go. Alright, hopefully this is the way with the treasure. Yay, treasure! What is it gonna be? 75 gold! I'm so happy. You have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> oh, giant rat goblins. Awesome! Attack one of those, do There we go, yeah, we can do the groups, but no points. Right, let's take out the goblins. And take out the giant rats. BAM! Love not having to manage HP. God, that was like one of the worst things about old school RPGs. Is the HP management. Oh god, it was so tough, because you just have to stock up on just a shit ton of items. Oh, okay, so I guess that's where I have to go. Dolphins! Those are evil fucking dolphins! <laughs> Her idea of playful involves harpoons and pain. That's great. These are powerful fucking dolphins. Right, so we're gonna do... Flame Shrink. And a Science Call. Whoa. That's a really insane ass dolphin. Holy shit, didn't kill it. Okay, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Ah, uh, do sanity blow him. Go to flood. Oh god, they're doing so much damage. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, so I could probably do a death blow. I need to conserve magic. <clears throat> Potion on Umi. I should have blinded him from the start, Jesus. So one of them was blind. Go to attack Cthulhu. I was kinda scared. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, low and low magic. Alright, she'd just be able to chip him down with regular attacks. Damn, shit, it was a tough ass battle. Lots of experience though. Chat. I'll oh, still talk about the damn starfish. Oh, teleport. Did not visit any towns. Great. Party. Choose your second character. Okay, so it's just a quick little thingy in the bobber. Ooh, where am I going? Better be big treasure. This looks like to be a big giant circle. Yep, it was a big fucking circle with nothing special. That's good. Well, this is going to be a pain in the ass. They all seem kind of low. Only one flood. Should be able to pick them off. Awesome. Alright, cool, cool. Not regaining enough MP, though. Alright, it's going down. If I can figure out how to go down. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'll spend complete attention. <laughs> Alright, back outside in the fresh air, go ahead and save again. Alright, it's starting to slow down. Treasure! Iron Sword! Yay! Much better! Much, much better! Wait, did I actually put that over? 
Oh. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Let's test out this. Whoa, it's a mawfish. That's scary. Happy ma <laughs> mouthfish. Didn't have quite the same ring to it. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. It's got so much HP. It's fucking ridiculous. I need to conserve the MP as much as I can. We gotta make him insane and see how that goes. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Just defeated Umi. Oh my god, that's not cool. We're gonna try and finish him. Bam! Alright. Oh cool, they come back at the end of the battle. Good. And they get the experience, awesome. Ailment combo plus. Combo can't increase his ailment success rates. 40 strength. That's cool, but 40 strength is more instant boost in this. I, I forgot where I was going. Did I come in from this side? No, okay, I have to go down. I was like, wait a minute, I'm totally fucking lost. I guess I'm trying to go down the mountain. Oh god, wait, this seems like it's... This is where it just was. God damn it! Getting turned around already. Unless this looks exactly the same. No, okay, I don't think this is the place I just came from. Or is it? Oh my god, I'm like totally fucking confused right now. Oh my god, I'm confused. <laughs> Forgot which way I done did went already. Too much crap right now. I'm just gonna call. Damn it, no. That's fucking. Too much shit right now. Damn. Alright. I think this is where I was before, but I'm not sure. All these levels are starting to look the same now. I don't freaking know. We're just gonna try our best and see what happens. <laughs> okay, one flood. It's doing like less and less damage. It's kind of annoying. Alright, I think I want to die and see what happens when you die, but I'm not sure. Never mind. <laughs> 30 agility or Vite and Willpower. He does desperately need agility, but. It's a defense. Agility, because he needs to attack once every time anyway. Okay, I don't think this is where I've been already, so I think I'm going where I need to go now. Perhaps. Yes. Unopened treasure chest, always a good sign. attack him so yeah just do that let's push it down low blow his fucking head off bam I think I'm just regaining less and less MP every fight which is making me think harder about what I'm doing okay I've gone up and down and up and down Yes, I'd love to have full MP. That looks like a boss fight there coming up. It's usually when you see the regeneration like that. Alright, it's almost a 30 minute. Whoa, as your adventures cross the long bridge leading to that town, look at the ocean. Strange beast jumps out of well at water. Looks like a terror star. I haven't seen one of those since my days in Regal XLIV. Awesome. That's, I think, XLXIV. It's like 64, Regal 64. <laughs> Call a group new child's play now. What you got? All right, first boss battle. This is gonna be a good place to stop after I fight him. So let's see. I don't know if I should make him insane or not. I guess I don't have to do it with her. Him. 
definitely summon the Kraken. Alright, and then... Flame Strike, and she does a Siren's Call. Holy shit, don't lose tentacles as you hurt it. Doesn't lose it. It's got so much fucking HP, holy shit. Alright, this is gonna get kind of intense. Again, I only use it once per battle. Yeah, I can do it again. Blind him. Yes, he's blind. Two hits. Insane. Cast Star Heals. Cured of all ailments. He's no longer insane. It's crap. I want you insane. You're just gonna have to keep. Oh, yeah, he's not blind anymore. So I'm gonna blind him again. Apparently he's just gonna keep killing himself, so whatever. I'm gonna get this death blow high enough. We're gonna fuck him up. Next attack will be very powerful. Oh shit. And we're gonna blind him again. Ah, oh, no effect damage. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Death blow powerful enough yet? Not yet. One more attack set cycle and I should be able to kill him. Mm, very powerful. Alright, let's see. Can I finish him with a death blow? I think I can. Here we go, death blow! And we're gonna go ahead and just She's gonna she's gonna dodge. Death blow! 460 damage! That was fucking cool! Alright, well that's a shit ton of experience. Gold, no level up, so... <sighs> Not bad guessing you just expected. <laughs> Feel bad for the terror, star terror, though. It reminded me of my pet starfish, you know, instead of being cute, his friend is just terrifying. I'll show you after yourself and you have a chance to beat you and everyone you care about. Obviously, I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna bum rush my way to this town. Kill! It's got a cowboy! Kill! Look at the town, everybody! University! Student! A bar! Yep, we're going to the bar. Yeah, I'm not reading all these. Holy shit, that's a lot of gold! Hmm. Can we look in jugs? Ugh. Alright guys, well I think that's it for today's game. It's gone on a crazy long time, which is how most RPGs are going to go when I play them. Hope you enjoyed Cthulhu Saves the World, and if you're interested, it's on Steam for like a buck. You get this game and another game by the same developer. It's another uh, RPG in the same fashion. It's like, it's not, I can't remember, it's like another Final Fantasy Breath of Fire type game. It looks pretty cool. And I will catch you tomorrow guys, alright? Hope you enjoyed. Peace out!